<laughs> Show her that fish. Bam! Oh, she got it. She there got you go. it. <laughs> That's a happy American crocodile. Oh! Look at this thing. Today, we're gonna to be cast netting a ton of bait fish to bring over to my buddy Chandler's property where he has giant crocodiles, giant alligators, even snakes from king cobras to black mambas. And to top it off, he just got a little baby otter. So what we're gonna be doing is hitting all these ponds around us. They are stocked with tons of bait fish and then we're gonna be taking them over to feed all his pets. We got one, we got one. Oh yeah, that's exactly what we're looking for. This right here is a tilapia. Doesn't get better than that. We're trying to replicate as what they would eat in the wild. Check this out. So this fish right here has, come close, has eggs in his mouth. See the eggs? Yes, yes, yes. So those are all babies and these actually keep eggs in their mouth. We're gonna release her so she can keep the population going in this lake and we can continue to have more bait. What in the? This is a pleco, also known as an armored catfish. Definitely not the best thing for the net. They, they completely destroy it. This is like a very prehistoric fish. Look at how crazy this fish is. All of these are shot, guys. Oh All right, we are good to go. Look at the size of these crocodiles just chilling next to his house. And you know what's the best part? Bro. He's 10 foot long. That's like a small big croc. Yeah. So dude, imagine when I get like 15 foot long crocodiles. Get that fish over the rail, there you go. Perfect, perfect. Oh yeah, they're interested. Oh gosh, here All you gotta do is make that pop call sound. Oh! <laughs> She's the one that good. shoot on my leg. Uh, two oh, this years is ago. the one? Yeah. Yeah, that's what happens when you get in the water with a crocodile. Yeah, that's Chandler's a, he's a wild man. All right, we're gonna try Aries here, the 10 foot crocodile. There he's you go. He's a beast. There you go, right in his peripheral vision. There he goes. Whoa! Oh my goodness. Gosh. Quick, another fish, quick. We got another one. looks at me. Aries, Aries. Is he hungry? Nadia, you want some fish? Oh. oh, yeah, she Woo. wants some fish. I'm sorry, did you want some fish or did Dude, you want Chandler me? Chandler reminds me of Steve Berwick. Whoa, fish? Oh, that's a plant. <laughs> fish is right there. Whoa. <laughs> she's fast. Yeah, she's fast. Woo. Come on, baby. I just want to feed you some fish. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Mama. Go easy on me. Just want to give you this fish. There we go. Oh yeah, right back into the water. You're a naughty crocodile. So Nadia's got the other tilapia in her mouth at the moment. We're gonna try to just, you know, encourage her to get that one down so she can get this one. And then she'll have a nice meal for the day. There she goes. Look at her munching that fish. <laughs> there we go. She That's, loves her oh, fish. Oh yeah. That was Woo. awesome. Come on, Nadia. All right, she's coming after me now, so help me out. <laughs> Show her that fish. Bam! Oh, she's got it. There she's you got go. It. <laughs> that was Bro. great. Dude, the adrenaline rush, just when she chomps down on it, you can't even explain it. Dude, crocs are the best. They make me so happy. Nothing makes me happier than feeding crocodiles. And there she is, coming out of the water. Ooh. Munching the tilapia. You like that, baby? You might want to get another fish ready before she swallows this one up. That is so awesome. I can't thank you enough, Nick, for bringing all this fish. Of it's course, so good bro. to add variety to the diet of a crocodile. Monitor lizards, crocs, all that stuff. It's really good to have variety. It's so good. majestic. Just takes it down like it's nothing. We're gonna see. She wants another one. You ready? Oh! <laughs> We're gonna make her work for this one, though. Those last, you ready, Nadia? Those last two. One of the two. Whoa! <laughs> She's got it. I'm there playing tug go. of war with a gator or a croc. <laughs> oh, she's gonna eat it fast too this time. <laughs> Yikes, dude. She's swallowing it with the spines facing down. They're tough. Mm. A crocodile or an alligator can go a whole year without eating any food. No way. Yeah, yeah, it's insane. I they, didn't know that. They're, they are truly the ultimate predator. They can survive anything. They can fast forever, live off the fat and 
muscle in their body until they're good to go. Oh, look at the, the Nile hybrid with his mouth open. Oh my gosh. Maybe she wants a fish. I like it when she has her mouth full, I can get close. <laughs> <laughs> a little too close. See, she flipped it around, now she'll be able to swallow it. Look at that. Oh, over my face. Oh, come on, mama. Is it too much? Yeah, it's a big workout for her. Oh, she did flip it. I'll take it if you don't want it. She's like making gurgling sounds. She's like, whoa, whoa. We need too much Chipotle, you know? She probably needs the water to help it wash it down or just wanted privacy. Oh, oh, bro, that was so sick. She just growled like a T-Rex. She's actually letting me touch her a little bit, which is really cool. Is this for you? You gotta Let's bang it. it if it gets stuck like that. We got little gators you can feed some shad to. We got little crocs you can feed. So are these like baby babies? Yeah, so uh, they were about a year old. Oh, dude. These guys were donated by FWC. Some, so some, uh, somebody had them without proper licensing and they're looking a little bit hungry. Oh. Want some food? Oh. There you go. You can get really close. You don't have to worry about these guys. So these are just little American alligators. You hungry? There you go. Oh, oh no. no! Here, one more try. What a baby. I'll leave him up here for them. All right, you're running. just gonna get it right through a gap right here, and then you can get a shot from there, because if I open this up all the way, she will jump out and chase you around this enclosure. Okay. So just a little bit, there you go. Ziggy. Ziggy. Ziggy, look up. Oh! oh. Holy cow. There we go. Nice fish for my girl Ziggy. The snout on her is crazy. Ziggy. Just watch when he closes it. There we go. <laughs> That's a happy American crocodile. That's literally what they're gonna be eating in the wild. Oh, look at her mouth filled with shad. <laughs> yeah, she's oh, yeah. happy. Good girl. Oh, yeah. You hear that jaw pressure? <laughs> Even when they're only a couple feet long, they have a lot of jaw pressure. Crocs versus alligators. Gators have 3,000 pounds of square inch pressure in their jaws. That's a lot. A crocodile, full grown, big, big croc, 5,000 pounds of pressure in their jaws. Wow. So that's the strongest bite force in the world. You're hungry. Oh, you got some other ones coming in. Who's hungry? There oh, you go. Oh, nice. Honestly, the best thing you could give these crocs, especially being a mangrove crocodile that likes fish like that. Feed them, feed them. Oh, 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 yes, 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 you got it. Giant tilapia, fresh for our boy Choby right there. Listen, don't, don't trust him. He's trying to be sneaky. See the stick on his face? He thinks we don't <laughs> see him. We see him, right? So you can just drop that fish. Yeah. Grab it with these tongs. There you go. Get a good grip on that head. And let's walk over to Choby and see if he takes it. I haven't really fed him fish before. Now his pool's usually clean, but he ripped a hole in the tarp, so there's mud coming up. That's why it looks a little mucky, but he's gonna have a giant enclosure pretty soon, so this ain't too bad for him. Gators will live in mud wallows in the wild during the dry season, and uh, they're tough. Joby, oh, he was a Joby. nuisance alligator over in like Delray Beach at a nursery, and they're actually gonna put him down. He's gonna be sent to a hunting ranch where people were gonna pay thousands oh. of dollars to shoot him, so I didn't want that to happen. <laughs> Dude, he loved that thing. Yeah, I, I bought him off of the trapper and we moved him over here so he didn't have to get put on a hunting ranch and get killed. Joby. You ready? Whoa. Oh, he's out, he's out big now. Big boy. What are you thinking, big boy? Oh, oh. <laughs> dude, bro, he is so strong. Joby. It's actually insane. Big boy. You happy? Look at the size of this gator. Touch his face. I'm low key so scared of him. <laughs> That's why we use oh, really shit. long tongs. Oh my God, he's strong. And just oh, like yeah. that, it's gone. And this guy doesn't need any time to hold it in his mouth. He's a big boy. He's a big boy. Look at Chubby's tail. He's got this crazy notch. He came with this crazy like scarred up tail, maybe fighting a bigger gator. He's a big boy. Sometimes I want to wrestle him. Oh! 
That hurt pretty good. <laughs> All right. That's he just got some tail whipped by a 12 foot gator. Oh, he belted me. Oh yeah, he did. Oh, that hurt you. really bad. But you know, it's all part of the fun. Let's uh, let's go. So this is where I keep all the world's most venomous snakes, world's biggest venomous snakes, most beautiful, all in this room. Come on, right off the bat, black mambas, the most dangerous snakes in the world to deal with. I actually ended up putting my male with my female and they've been mating. It's in shed, so it's not as pretty as usual, but so this pretty. is a gaboon viper hybrid with a rhinoceros viper from the Congo of Africa. These are cape cobras from Africa. These are the most toxic cobras in Africa. If you look, oh, they're look yellow, they're like mustard yellow. This is his little hide box area. He's just hanging out. He's a big boy. That's King, that's King Cobra, brother. He's uh, very deep in shed right now, so his eyes are very milky, as you can see. See? Very Ooh. milky. There's a liquid layer in between the old and the new skin, and uh, that's the shedding process that makes him a little bit irritable and almost blind. Wow. We got some camels over here. Let's check them out. So this is Kameo. When we <laughs> last saw him, he was probably, say, this big. And now he's, he's literally towering over me. Hi, Kameo. Yeah, they weigh like oh, 500 pounds each now. Mwah. That's a, don't eat the mic. <laughs> you just try to eat the whole mic. Come on, guys. Are you kidding me? It's like dogs, giant dogs just following us. Come on in. There's no way they come in here. They're not coming in here. Oh. <laughs> We're going in. You leave them out here. Kaido! This is what we've been, this is what I've been waiting for. I'm not oh, gonna lie. Yeah. <laughs> no. Very friendly otter. He'll literally just crawl up on your neck and cuddle you. Bro. Small clawed Asian river otter. This is the smallest species of otter. And there's over a dozen species of otter in the world. I believe it's like 18 different species in between river otters, ocean otters. They're Please amazing like animals. Face. They're like, the most mischievous animal of the river. I love them. Bro, look at that face. You know what these guys do? They love to swim and they love to mess with alligators and crocodiles around the world. They'll yeah. go, they'll antagonize them and they bite them on the so tail and get spin at them and stuff. I'm like, I may have been an otter in my past life. <laughs> so have him in one hand. Yeah. With the other hand, you have that. Don't worry about pushing that. He's gonna suck it on his own. Show him the nipple. There you go. Just hold it up and let him suck it down. And he's gonna try to hold your hands. Look, he's trying to hold your hands. Look at his little. Oh my god. He's got soft, like raccoon hands. Yeah. Yeah. Almost... They're very handsy animals. Oh, little Kaido. Oh, okay. You like him, Nick? I love him, dude. I'm I think Nick's one. gonna end up getting an otter now. <laughs> oh my gosh. So I'm about to take a dive with Kaido here in the pond. It's probably. How many swims has this little guy had? Just one. Just one. So I'm gonna be his second swim ever. Yes, yes, Kaido. Yes, Kaido. Are you happy? Go in the water. This is, they love water, so this is gonna be like a little play time for him. It's a little cold, right? You just gotta get into it. It's a little cold. <laughs> Kaido! What do you think? What do you think? He's like drinking it. <laughs> yeah, Kaido! <laughs> Come on. Come on. Good boy. <laughs> Good boy. Good boy. Okay, there's Kaido, guys. Oh, he's on my back. He's having a lot of fun. Little baby otter. Just enjoying the pond. <laughs> oh my gosh. He is so cute. He is insane. You can oh swim a little God. more if you wanted to. Fisher, bite him I'm telling you, bro, the bluegill are evil. <laughs> the bluegill are the worst. The are not to be scared of. It's the bluegill. A little bit of a dry off now. Wee, 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 wee. Wee, 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 wee. <laughs> He's so cute. Gaido! Well, Chandler, that was honestly a blast. Love you, buddy. I love you too. Thanks man. for Thank coming you. out. Always welcome to come back and feed the crocs. Oh, we'll definitely be back. That's for darn sure. Let us know what your favorite thing that we saw today here at Chandler's was. Whether it was the otters, the crocodiles, alligators, camels. He's got it all. Even giant snakes. So, again, big shout out to Chandler. I'm going to have his channel in my description down below. Also popping up right here on the screen. Make sure you guys go check him out. He's got some epic content, as you can see. And with that being said, Chandler, thank you, brother. See you guys in the next one. You see you!